vielleicht. Got nothing in my brain. Das war ein Riegel's Toy. Geiler Schild. Hello and welcome back to the Pilari Podcast with me and... I don't. I don't. How are you? Okay, you know, no, I'm not okay. I am so frustrated with the spring box. It's not even a joke. I really. No, because I got to MC and I got to to, to do stuff at, at Eastgate Mall for the. Uh, there was like these nine fan malls across uh, South Africa. And I was fortunate enough to go and MC at the thing with these. Well, and it, the Gies was there and it was the everything and the this and the that. And mm -hmm. then. Okay, but it was number one and number two in the world. It was expected. It was expected. We are frustrated with the kicks. That yes. I can understand. But Ten it points. was uh, it's eleven points. Was it eleven? <laughs> was it a three and a, wasn't it a four th kicks. Yeah, it was a three and a three and a two and a two, wasn't it? It was a three threes. It was a three threes and a two. Ah, and okay. a two. Ah, okay. But that's neither here nor there. The guy, it was oh, yeah. an excellent game. It was It insane. felt like a final. I promise you, like half time came because the thing is, I had to warm up the crowd and then we watched the game and I'm just, I was so into the game and then the guy, the sound guy, was like, come, we got to go. I was like, what? That's already half time. It went like this. I had a different experience. Oh, really? I couldn't wait for the game to end. I didn't enjoy it at all. It felt slow. There was a lot of standing around yeah. during the game and the clock would continue ticking. Lots of um, mistakes made on both sides. Ugh. But that just shows what a great game it was. Because if you have two world-class teams, they're going to pressure each other and oh, there's yeah. going to be mistakes. It was a good game. Mm. And the Irish is so vindhaak at the moment. Yeah, I can think they're vindhaak. Their heads is this large. Yeah. So again, I think this loss might be more beneficial to us than the win is for them. I hope so, because that was thing, it was like a, it was a good bad thing, I think. I think so as well. And everyone is, um, has different opinions on would you rather play France in the quarters or the All Blacks. Okay. Because the winner of this game would probably play All Blacks. Yeah. And the losers France. I would have rather played um, All Blacks, to be honest. I don't want to play France. In France. You're right. You don't want to play France. And especially France. if there's a European ref. Yeah. Oh, gosh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so gosh. I don't think that's a good thing, but you have to play the best in order to yeah. win the World Cup. 2019, we lost against New Zealand early on. We still took the cup home. Yes, we did. So, world, underestimate us, I dare you. <laughs> yes. The, I'm a boko boko song. It says something about underestimate. They underestimated us last time. Isn't it weird that there's still a lot of people that underestimates the Springboks, even yeah. though we won the World Cup three times? That's crazy, yeah, I know. To me, like, no one underestimates the All Blacks. No. No, you're right, you're you know right. What what I'm, I, mean. I know exactly what you mean. But you know? it's fine, we are fine with that. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, think you're better than us. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, slash plus. I'm not a good loser. I know that. I know, I know. I'm I've, competitive. You're very competitive. And it's weird because I never played sports. Mm. So now I need to find other things to be competitive in, like 30 seconds or <laughs> watching the spring box. Yeah. I like losing. And after that game, I just felt like crying and yeah, punching someone. Me too. But it was a fantastic game. Apart from the fact that, yes, we do have an issue with the kicking. Everyone's like, why didn't they play Pollard? It makes sense. He just arrived in he France after injury. Yeah. He needs to get his bearings. Can't just throw him in. And it's uh, pool matches. Exactly, that's the thing. It's a so pool I'm match. pretty it's... sure they have a plan. Yeah. And yeah, whatever sure. happens... Anyway, do um, you have a talisman? I think I'm wearing a talisman, <laughs> aren't I? <laughs> when he came here, I was like, yes, your talisman, I decided for you. Here because go. I'm going to do some shameless self-promotion. That off. is the off your fuck. Off your fuck. Back at that. And mine is the hashtag Vliegnyamura. Available on www.samuelsays.ca.ca. Now.com. Now.ca.ca. Oh, we what? are South African. Anyway, moving on. Um... The rugby, that was amazing. Amazing game. 
cock outcome. Yes. I like Irish people. I told you this before. My sister lives in Ireland. Your sister lives in Ireland. Mm. Um, but seeing them being all great group and people talking like they demolished us is mm. just a cock story. They made just as many mistakes. If they just got the kicks over, we would have won. Yeah, and yeah, there's a lot of factors, but it was a great game. We put pressure on them, they put pressure on us. It could go either God, way. What pressure cooker? It was like a pressure cooker. It you was. are correct. It you was. are correct in saying that. When you came here, you asked, um, why is there so many fires? Yes, what's going on with all the fires? Everything's on fire. And it made me think, and I also wrote this down. There's this guy on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I just saw the video pop up this morning. And he made a prediction that there's a massive natural disaster coming to South Africa. It's not a South African dude, he's from the overseas, and he's been making videos about this um, theme of weird clouds and shit in the sky, mm. and then just after some sort of massive earthquake or whatever yes. happens, okay. there was apparently this phenomenon in, where was that earthquake? Somewhere there. Yes. The clouds came and then there was an earthquake. It, apparently happened in Hawaii. I'm like, don't predict this business for no, us. We have please, enough disaster. No, enough crap here. What do you think? Isn't the weather weird? The weather's strange. I, I agree with you on that, definitely. Because it's like very hot and then it's cold and now it's blowing like crazy. The wind is out of control. In Cape Town, the tides is the, a... It's insane. It's going mal. The world is starting <laughs> to end. It is end of, end of times. But, but that's the thing, it's not to say it's the end of the world, it might be just the end of the human race, that's the difference. Because the earth has been here for billions and billions of years. I was watching a thing by the one comedian. Um, oh, it depends on who you ask. Because I still have a hard time with this business. Because what they are saying, mm -hmm. evolutionists and um, whatever, and big bang theorists. <laughs> Your theory, okay, yes. So... According to that whole business, we as human persons all came from a rock. Because there was the Big Bang, and then there was like all this matter coming together, then there was Earth, then we were hit by a thing, and then it created the moon, and then there was rocks falling out of the sky, <laughs> and then it rained, and then from that rocks came molecules, kills like DNA that replicated each other. From that came a a little um, the Cambrian explosion and there was this plants and from that there was a dinosaur and then was us I don't get it I don't well I... from a scientific point of view it doesn't make sense to me but if they're microorganisms and those type of things then, then the microorganisms came, came from rocks falling out of the sky yeah. and then it was like but it's like look under humans. your fingernails there are things under there that you like Bleh. And you wouldn't know about it if you, if you, if you didn't have a microscope? I don't see what you mean. What I'm saying is, there was a rock, yes. and there was a microorganism, yes. and from that came people. Listen, evolution is a thing. Evolution is a theory. There's a missing link there. I can speak it's about this. It's not a theory. Well, it's, it's more than just a theory. It's a, it's a theory. It's it. it because, does. and a lot of people, because we haven't been alive long enough, to really prove evolution because there's not enough time to observe and they are speaking about the missing link I think we would be better off as humans uh, if we just um, admit the fact that we know for all that we know nothing, we, we don't, don't know. know we don't really know and we have theories but something like evolution and they are, they are teaching it in school as if it's fact but it can't be proven. We haven't been alive long enough to prove it. You know what I'm saying? We haven't been alive long enough to look at the sea otter because he doesn't look done yet. But <laughs> we haven't been alive long enough to observe him and see what he evolves into. No, no I understand that. I have questions. That's all I'm saying. We know? How did we get on this topic? I have no idea. We, this is for <laughs> rugby to this. Well, there we go. Well... There's a few rugby players that I look at and I think... Yeah, that could be the missing... <laughs> Are they done? <laughs> <laughs> Although, going back into... yeah, You get some of the, the people who are like, yeah, listen, we've gone back in time here because they're, they're behemoths. 
of men on that rugby pitch. Mm-hmm. But I digress. No, no, that's interesting. Um, and other important scientific news. Yes. Uh, Taylor Swift started dating a football player. Because so, I saw she was at a concert or something with someone's mom and they're like, oh, rumors. It's not a concert, it was, was an it? American football guy. Oh, I don't know. That. She started dating this American footballer and apparently it's the talk of the century. The talk of the town. It's all over TikTok. Really? It's the most important news coming out of 2023. And I'm like, who cares? Uh-huh. There are real issues like the Rugby World Cup. <laughs> yeah. Um, just to be clear, it's not the soccer football one. No. It is the one that the, the Americans play with the pads and yes. the quarterbacks, that one. I can get that. I draw yeah, if you if you play there's a TV game by the name of Madden. If you if you if you play that then you get it. So what happens is that you've got to if you're not able to throw the ball. Mm-hmm. So there's what they call ten yards. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you've got to make well, even what is ten yards in normal talk? That's uh, is it just learn the the the, 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 um, <laughs> the metric, metric, system. metric system. It's not that hard. So okay. let's have it. It's three. Okay, the ten yards is only three meters, but you've got to you've got to do something like forty yards that you've got to. So you get three 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 times to throw the ball, mm-hmm. so that you can make those. Let's say let's just call it ten yards. It's more than ten yards, but let's say for instance you get three times to try to throw the ball that someone has to catch it, or you must run so you must go past 10, 10 yards. If that doesn't happen in three times, then the other team gets the ball and they get to try to do it. I'm very sorry that I gave you the impression that I care. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm it's fine. your fault. I know. Yes. Yeah, so I'm fine with that watching rugby. Cricket is okay. 2020 wise, yes, but five-day matches, I cannot. Soccer is stupid. Each ball in net score one. Tackle with your feet. Yes. It's dumb. I don't like it. Tennis, fun to play. Cock to watch. Uh, sometimes. Um, golf. I don't care. Who cares? Who cares? We'll just stick to rugby. Okay. Do you think the moon landing was fake? <laughs> Where do I go with this now? (laughs) I think, I don't think it was fake. Although there are plenty of things maybe to suggest. But India has just gone around the moon. Like within like the last month. You know? I saw, I saw that. Is it just not weird? Okay, first of all, if the moon landing is fake, why? Why? What, what is the reason for faking it? I don't, that I don't get. You don't get that. Okay, the, the, the reason for, for faking it is because... Uh, they were in a race. Yes, they were in a race against Russia. Okay, China. but... So, I don't get it. But mm-hmm. it is strange to me that we went to the moon in the 60s. Yes. And now they say they can't go back because we lost the technology. I don't know where you see, where were you getting your information? That's what they said, the technology was lost. It would be too expensive to go back and to replicate the lost technology. And what else is weird? Mm. It happened in the 60s, alright? There was no like cell phone business, all that things. But somehow they managed to live stream it. Yes, I know. That's the they other live thing. streamed that to the whole world. And, he, and the president spoke to him from space. Before there was even GPS on your cell phone. Yeah, business. so that's another it's, it's thing. It's a bit weird, not gonna lie. I like being a conspiracy theorist. I know you do. Not. I don't mind if people look at me like I'm a bit crazy. But there is questions and it's questionable. That's I mean, the I'm moon saying. landing is, is, a big, is a big wow, you know. Because you can see how you can fake it so easily. And you're right, the technology is something else, where it's like, did they really have the technology back then to be able to do that? Or ever, if they could launch such a monstrous freaking thing. I don't know. I don't know either. What I, what I believe for sure yes. is that all governments lie to us every day yes. about various things. And I don't understand why. Mm-hmm. Like, why, do, why can't you just say it as it is? Because... Because you need people on your side. You need to control them. You need to control them. You think the earth is flat? (laughs) (laughs) 
or we might be just like a pigeon flighting in space like this that's just right on the day this is um fat earth theory in Shirais. <laughs> oh my word. Someone I asked this because on TikTok they came up this thing from a flat earther. Yes. Me. There's still some of those. There's things. plenty of those I think. And they showed a map of what Earth really looks like. Yeah. And then this is interesting. So then there's the now our continents. And then there's the ice wall. Because we can't go more past Antarctica. Yes. And because the government is all sus and things, like you can't go there, it just feeds into the conspiracies. Anyway, so then on this map, past the ice walls, there's more continents. Oh. And then there's one called um, Turat. Tura, I can't remember the name. But then back in the day, there was a dude who claimed to be a time traveler. No, not a time traveler. He was arrested because he didn't have. A, he had the passport from this Turat place, and it's not a real place. And then they were like, "What? What?" Was so the only one? One what? One person. I don't know what you mean. Now you said there was this one person back in time, but that's one person back in time. It's not like there's hundreds of people or thousands but of people. I'm gonna make a video, a whole video on the man of from Turat. What's the place's name? I'm gonna Google it. The man from Turat. Now he's just crazy. Turat, the man from Turat. I'm gonna do a full video on it because it's <sighs> fascinating. So he was there, and then he, his identification was from a, pl a place, and he was like, I, I don't understand what's going on here. I just wanna go home. I can't remember all the details, but then he said he's from Turat, and then this map had a Turat. Very interesting, if that's not proof. <laughs> oh, oh, what, do you believe in, 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 in um, Bigfoot? Listen, I think... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Bigfoot is misunderstood. <laughs> is that what you think? Okay. Sasquatch as well. They just it's want us to leave them alone. Then. It's not. But they just want to, us, to leave us, us to leave them alone. They don't come here. <sighs> Empty Johannesburg, you know, walking around, hiking, and they then the person they like stay in your lane. This is Sasquatch business. <laughs> <laughs> what about Nelly? Ah, ah, Lucky. Old Lucky. It's Nessie, not Nessie. Nelly. Sorry, oh, you're right, Nessie. Um, she's adorable. She's. A <laughs> you talk about as if it's real. <laughs> You said, we had this discussion many years ago, I don't know if you remember it, and you're like, if there was a Loch Ness Monster, we would have found them by now. Yes. That is a stupid argument. There's so much on this earth that we haven't okay. explored But yet. especially, well, well, it can't be in that lock there, because that's impossible. Let me ask you this. Yes. There in the Amazon. Yes. There's ants. Yes. Millions of them. Yes. Most of those ants never seen a human before. Does that mean we are not real? <laughs> I am this My smart. IQ this is world. being drained every second. That's an actual theory. I can't remember the theory name. But it says because there's so many places in the world that we haven't explored, especially in the oceans. Yeah. If you go to the Amazon, most of the animals there has never seen a human. But that doesn't mean, mean we don't exist. It means they never seen us. So many places, corners of the earth, so many things that died out, like what went extinct. We don't know what maybe one or two is left. Maybe somewhere there in the Amazon is a Tisaurus Rex, <laughs> a dinosaur, a flying one. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> In London. It's good to see you are, you are on your ball with current events. Anyways, yes, in London. In London. A dude was arrested. Ne? Yeah. Because he tried to climb a tr skyscraper. And I was thinking, now the police mm. has to take time out of their day. Out of their day. To go they in. have to stop hunting killers. And they have to... Um, 
stop eating donuts so that they can go and arrest someone mm -hmm. for being idiotic. Do you really think we are the smartest species? <laughs> well, there's a there's an ant that's got like the biggest it's the biggest brain size. I was watching something the other day. Our I would say it is our brains the biggest from ratio from us to our bodies and it's it's not the biggest animal. The biggest mammal I think, yes. But not the biggest animal. To brain ratio. And the I ratio just think, to body size. Yes. Yeah. No, I just and we the, use ours more, I must say. What is that thing that we only use like a percent of our brain or ten percent of our brain capacities? See I think it's more people that, I don't know if it's that we only use 10%, I think it's that we don't try to use more. It's impossible to use 100% of our brain capacities. Our brains is stronger than a supercomputer. We can't use all of it. We will explode. <laughs> I don't think we will. It's just, but um, some people don't use it at all. <laughs> They, have, they, you, have, you been, have you been on the roads in this country? Oh my word. Oh my word. Some people are just dumb. Yeah. And not in a way that I'm being rude. In a way that they are being dumb on purpose. They are like, today I'm mm -hmm. going out but I'm leaving my brain at home. I've done that a couple of times. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> anyway, that's literally all that's I literally. have on my list. If you would be arrested, saying whatever, what do you think you'll be arrested for? Probably for violence. Uh, for violence. Probably, I don't know. I think I'm quite law-abiding okay. as a citizen. Uh -huh. I'm never rude to police or to speak cops. I'm always respectful. Um, but there is sometimes, especially on the road, yeah. when I feel that I might lose myself. And maybe Kappa O's go bath. Is that why you got freaking your freaking your mood on the yes. back of your car? Okay. Yes. No, the back of my car says slim for my heart. Well, I my heart off, okay. Um, just the way people drive, it just brings out the worst in me. And if you are decapitated, I don't think you'll be able to drive in in front of me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like road rage to get you off the, off, the, off the couch in the morning. What will you be arrested for? Ugh, public indecency. Breaking and entry. <laughs> <laughs> public indecency. Probably. You pick person. Ah, oh, hey, sometimes I get bored, so... Yeah. Three. How long have we been talking? 24 minutes. No, that's fine. I think that's fine. I think... Okay. Oh, but first we have to do... Okay. It's time for Airod's idiotic. What? It's time for Airod's idiotic joke. Two muffins in the oven, and one muffin looks over and says, "Dude, it's hot in here." And the other muffin's like, "Holy shit, a talking muffin!" <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know. That was that? that was very good. Was that good? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, on our previous um, video, someone commented and she said she looks forward to your idiotic jokes every day. Oh, really? Oh, great. I think it makes people feel like, um, you know what, you don't have to be smart to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to think about funny punchlines. You can just no. say things. Let's, let's have a stupid day. Um. You can just say things. Just <laughs> let words fall out of your mouth area and it would be fine. <sighs> Do you have another one for Tell us? you what, I'm going to tell you my sister's favourite joke. Okay. What do you call a fish with no eye? I had that one before. Okay. What do you call postman Pat without a job? Pat. <laughs> yeah. I, ca I can't be tricked. <laughs> my brain is just too big. <laughs> Using that full 10% today, eh? Yeah. Um, it makes me think of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh, yeah. Where it's like, um, where Jake said something about my big brain. Mm. And then Captain Old was like, no, but that wouldn't be good. It must be a big wet brain. You remember that? Uh. It's funny. Go check it out. Okay. Uh, arrive. A yeah. rant. What are we ranting about? What are you um, ranting about? You know what I want to rant about? Tell me. 
referees. Oh. Nee? And this is not me saying we lost because of a ref. I hate do I hate speaking about refs because it makes me feel like we always when we yeah, lose. We like lose this, but, yeah, we do but in general, not just against the Springboks, in general, there's no consistency in refereeing. Especially not listen. Especially not actually. I'll be honest. At the at the World Cup, at we the World, World Cup. Cup has messed us up so badly before because of refs. It's and it's not like I'm saying someone's paid all for any such things. I just think there's in, inconsistency. We have technology. Yes. There's TVs. There's people standing there. There's no excuse anymore. And this weekend's game, I thought the ref was good. Especially first half, he was good. He made. He was vigilant, mm. he made, made the same type of... The last few minutes in the second half, it felt like I didn't know how rugby works anymore. Yeah. Because I don't understand what he was blowing for. All the calls he made. Yeah. A lot of them. That last when we were going for that try. Yeah. What did I he don't blow for? Get it. He said the ball didn't come out. But it's because the Irish players were offside. They were yes. standing there. And making that the ball doesn't come yeah, out. Yeah. And then he decided no end of game. That frustrates me. We still, we lost because we, they were a bit better than us on the day. And our kicking wasn't good. But if it's in a quarter final or a semi or a final, one such goal yeah. can decide the game. That frustrates me. So we need to fix this. Not just for the Springboks, in general. No, in general. Because, because in yeah. this World Cup, there's been plenty of questionable calls. No, I completely Across agree. the board. So, referees, ne? Sort out your shit. We must do a theme song. Yeah, let's write see. a theme song. Not now, but yeah, you let's with your drums. Okay. I'll do the voicing. And then we do a theme song. Okay, that sounds like an idea. Okay. Cool. You have that to look forward to or not to look forward to. <laughs> Depending. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. Um, I'm trying to think of a Taylor Swift song because oh, she's now dating a rugby football player. I found the light. Got nothing in my brain. The sun we use by the shade. Well okay, done. Full circle. Hey. Anyway, that was it. Guys, okay. thank you for coming. Um, let me know in the comments who do you want to win the World Cup. If it's not the Springboks, don't bother commenting. <laughs> Comment at I'm all. joking. Just you say whatever you want. Um, and we'll chat again next week. All right. Okay. Bye bye.